being out there is no walk in the park, yeah, especially when you do military police. You're always called up for any little disturbance. As Dickens says, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. I had the most amazing experiences of my life there. I met people um, that I will never, ever forget, though I may never see them again. Some I certainly won't see again. But it was, if I had to do it all over again, of course I would. It was worth it. There was a couple of experiences where you just say to yourself, wow, what, what the hell was I thinking? You know, or, you know, I had a good life. So, <laughs> but there were There were days when I flip-flopped, when I said, we shouldn't be in this country, and I don't want to be here, and screw you guys, I'm going home. You just feel the bullets go over your head, and you hear them, you know. The good thing is that I'm short, so a lot of that will go over me. <laughs> I ended up taking three of the books from Dr. Shapiro, um, and I, from time to time, when I had, you know, some couple of minutes, I would open it and just go over stuff. So one of my Marine friends comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, what are you doing? You know, what is that?" It's like, "Oh, it's stuff from school." He's like, "What are you talking about, dude? We're, we're in freaking Iraq. You know, you, you need to do that." And I was like, "Dude, I don't want to forget it because it's just a lot of stuff. It's medicine, you know." I joined right after high school. I was actually recruited here from Pierce. I mean, it was my first semester here as pre-vet. Um, and I joined, I signed up, I left. I was gone for about a year for initial training. And then I came back here to Pierce, um, back to the pre-vet program. This is actually my, my first college, my first semester. I'm loving it. Taking 16 units right now, I think. And that, that was definitely more than I was expecting to take. But I think after you've gone 10 weeks without a day off in the blistering heat of Iraqi summer and gone from 5 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night just working, 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 16 units isn't quite as hard as that. So as, as much as I don't want to write a paper or I wake up and I don't want to go to class, I remind myself, you have been through harder. You can do this. I work at Animal Medical Center of Southern California with Dr. Shulman. Um, he's an orthopedic surgeon. It's pretty much what I want to do, which is why I work for him, because I'm learning with him. Um, so, you know, I, I'm just busy. My first time ever handling a gun was when I went into basic training, and I really can't get enough of it right now. My unit, uh, they, they let me handle a lot of things for the ranges, and I actually now, as my civilian job, work at an indoor shooting range in Northridge. As violent as people think guns are, they're a lot less volatile than people. Oh, I like working with guns and people, preferably not at the same time. Had I not joined the military, I'd probably be in vet school by now, but I don't regret it because I've learned a lot and I matured a lot. That was one thing I wanted. I wanted to come home to America and be a girl again.